Good afternoon, I'm Brian Sanders. Here are your headlines from Two Works For You on this Friday. A new bill in response to the teacher walkout would force protesters who gather at the Oklahoma Capitol to post a $50,000 bond. Senate Bill 592, authored by Mark Allen, would require any organization or group of 100 or more persons that engage in an organized protest at the state capitol building be required to post $50,000 with the Oklahoma Capital Improvement Authority in order to offset the cost of additional security, cleanup, and repairs. The Red Cross is in desperate need of blood donations following the holidays. Nationwide, the Red Cross saw 27,000 fewer blood donations over the holidays than they see at any other time of the year. In January and February of last year, the Red Cross said they had hundreds of drives canceled because of winter weather. Oklahoma's Director of Blood Collection says the only way they get through this time of year is by voluntary donations. They ask people who are willing to donate to make an appointment online. And the Gathering Place is being nationally recognized. A USA Today poll awarded the Gathering Place the best new attraction in the country. USA Today compiled a list and had people from all over the country vote on different hot spots. Number two went to the National Comedy Center in New Jersey. And the winds will get going even more so overnight tonight through early tomorrow morning with a wind advisory starting up tonight at 11 for most of our area for those wind gusts upwards of 40 miles per hour. And a winter weather advisory has been issued, especially for far northeastern Oklahoma. This is where the most amount of snow is probably going to fall between one and two inches and that advisory starts up at four o'clock in the morning. Your latest 10 day forecast so you can see it's going to be cool this weekend into the 40s for Sunday afternoon with mostly sunny skies but starting out around 15. We're going to thaw out on Monday around 53 and a chance for rain showers on Tuesday. Brian? All right, thank you, Brandon. Thank you for catching up with Two Works For You. Be sure to join us for our newscast at 5 and 6 o'clock.